I've invited Rosanna back from when we did a salad, the lentil salad, and also because Mexico's Independence is around the corner, and she said she had this awesome marinade that is one of the best. So I'll let you tell a story behind oh, it. Oh, great. Well, this marinade um, is actually from my dad, and so my sister and I have used it for, I don't even want to tell you how long, but um, we've used it, some vari uh, variations of it or whatever, and it's great for anything you're gonna put on the grill. Um, flat, you can use flat, flat steak or skirt steak, or even put it on your favorite cut of meat, like a ribeye or a T-bone. Depends on what you do. It has a little sweetness to it, has a little citrus to it. Now, so where do you great. get the skirt steak and the flat steak? Because I'm always looking for Yeah, this. I usually find it um, in the Mexican um, uh, grocery stores. That makes sense. I, yeah, I, they seem to have a lot of variation and a lot of it there. I also get my produce from there all the time, so I find good deals Beautiful. with that. Yeah. So basically, it's very simple. You're going to start off with about a half a cup of um, soy sauce, and you can use regular soy sauce or low sodium soy sauce, whatever you'd like. I use about a quarter cup of ketchup. We're going to put honey. This is actually started granulating here, but there's nothing wrong with it. Right. It, Actually, it's really good on uh, marinade. So I'm going to put about a fourth of a cup. Yeah, it's about a fourth of a cup of honey. And it will slide right out because it's already had something in there. Right. And if you want to slow down the process of granulation, just put it in a cool, dark place. But real honey does granulate. That's one of the tests. And so then you can put that in. The other thing that goes into this is um, salt and pepper. Um, so you can do that. So you can put a little bit of salt in here. Or you could put it on the meat. Or you could put it on the meat um, beforehand as well. Um, so I put Which a little... do you do? I have done it both ways. So yeah, um, and you do that. And so you're gonna start whisking this away, especially with the ketchup and the hum honey in there. Okay. It's a little easier to get it all blended in. Smooth. Mm -hmm. And then to add to this marinade, you're going to uh, use about a half a, um, half an orange, and I just go ahead and strong she is. Um, squeeze, that. squeeze that in there. For this amount of marinade and this amount of steak, I mean half a half of orange is just enough. And then you're going to take a lime and do the same thing. But a and, whole lime. But a whole lime, probably, yes, for this. And just like that. And go ahead and stir it. And then I have some of it already prepared here, so then what you do is when you're done with that, because that's it, that's the okay. whole marinade, and you're gonna just take a, a Ziploc bag, you're gonna put the meat into the Ziploc bag, just like that, and, and then you're gonna pour um, this over. right into that. Okay. Something else that I add, it can be certainly optional for you, is sometimes I add some uh, white onion into the into oh, okay. the marinade, and that can add some flavor, and also some garlic, uh, just chopped up uh, roughly. It doesn't have no. to be in small pieces. What is white? Um, just the flavor. I mean, if you like yellow onion or if you like sweet, uh, the sweet onions, you can use that too. And how so, do you tell this is ready? When, uh, when it's all mixed up, because you'll tell okay. with the ketchup and the honey that's a little heavier, right. you'll know that that is completely done. Well, I noticed that um, earlier you were testing it on your hand. Oh, so, yes, and when you do, you can <laughs> test it just like this. The people that are OCD. And um, uh, okay. taste it if you want it sweeter, add more honey. If you want it more um, citrus flavor, you can add more. Citrus oh, right. Yeah. Got a little bit of tangy Very there. good. So, so you're going to marinate that for? I usually, you could marinate it as short as this, like while you're getting the grill ready, and then you could just put the meat out right away, or let it marinate for about two or three hours, and then that would be great. In the, in the, refrigerator? In the refrigerator. All right. And we put it back into the refrigerator. Okay. Yep. Well, and we'll then that's it. Let it marinate. We'll cut up some peppers and onions. Right. For all the fixings. Okay. And we'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Prepárate
so we have the steak on the grill and you just grill it for as long as you like the doneness and the wellness of your steak. And you can just leave it right like that. And then I have just um, have cooked up some peppers, some yellow peppers and red peppers, anything that you would like. I put in some onions as well, some green onions if you like that too, and that's all for the fixings. You can use some salsa, some red salsa, or some green salsa, uh, depending on what you like. You can have tortillas, uh, if you like corn tortillas or flour tortillas, um, however you like that. And then you just cut up the meat and you go to town. You can also accompany this for with some beans on the side or some um, Mexican rice on the side yeah, and stuff. That's perfect. Yeah. Oh, so yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the meat is great. It smells great on the while it's cooking, and um, and there's your little taste. And there we go. So. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for watching this. And if you like some more recipes, please subscribe and like below, comment, share with other people, and check me out on Pinterest. I put the recipe below, but I also put it on Pinterest. I have it on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And you have a sweet Mexican Independence Day. Yay!